Hello and welcome back to the Stephen Trice podcast, episode 19. Hey. Hey. We're back in the studio and I'm joined by David Reese. Thank you, thank you. Tom Cooney. Ooh, yeah, Max come Smith. On. <laughs> hey, 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 buddy, buddy. He's what? still unwell. <laughs> and Joe McGrath. Hey. Hey. We freed him. His ankle tag might beep during this, but we're going to have a good time. Um, the SWAT team might come crashing through the windows behind us. We're expecting that's, it. That's someone's life. You're joking about there, Max. Joking. Do you, I, I imagine the trauma and the shock as that happens. Ooh. That's our friend Joe McGrath there. Poor Get man. out. <laughs> Already? We're going with the character early this week. Uh, so much has happened. We've yeah. had two weeks off, basically. Uh, although we never really work when we're doing this. Um, but lockdown's basically over now, pretty much. You had it here first. Yeah. Um, well, well, no, no, no. It's it's on, but it's, it's off. a little bit on. Forget it. It's all gone to shit. The bars are open, pubs are open. Dave, did you get drunk? Uh, I did. I didn't go to a bar. I went to. Uh, <laughs> You're on the park bench. <laughs> <or something, laughs> <laughs> Try and stone you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I went. Uh, TGI Fridays. Statues ain't going to defend themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. T- uh, got on the cocktails. Oh, you should have seen me. I was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I did your own crime watch last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. It was a good laugh. Went with my girlfriend. Yeah. It was nice. It was weird though because I had like gaps in between the tables. Well, not, Gaps, but like, you know, you got tables. Oh, so yeah. We're at a bar. Yeah, no, no, no. TJ Friday's restaurant right, okay. sort of thing. And, uh, you know, like, everyone will sit at a table usually, but instead, yep. you got table, miss a table. Table. So they, they're, yeah. sticking to the, they're sticking to the um, the distance thing. Well, to, be- to begin with, yeah. So, then everyone got drunk. Exactly. And started punching each other. It was, <sighs> it was great. I love it. <laughs> TJ <laughs> Remind Friday. me of Kent all over again. <laughs> yeah. I like, miss it. Tom, did you go out to a bar? I worked at a bar, uh, picking up some extra shifts because you know, lockdown's been pretty cruel to me. Well, so, you know, you've had a lot of free time. I have it's too a much. In too much. Um, yeah, so I, I worked for it, uh, as you will will know, because you were there. Mm, I saw you going off to get a falafel. <laughs> of course, yeah, getting a break in a hospitality job is a rare treat at Barca. <laughs> <laughs> um, Max, what have you been up to? I just been going to all these bars and clubs. Just having the time of my life. Yeah. Closed, aren't they? yeah, not for me. Not when this place goes up to the door. Just let him in. Just break it in. Yeah. Got my, my trusty crowbar breaking into bed. Just putting on my boombox. The normal service uh, resumed. Yeah. Yeah. Factory still shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like you waited until now to start doing that to get this to go to, to break into a club. Oh. He's a bad man, but you know, he tries. All the way. Uh, Dave, you were over the moon the other day because Liverpool won the league. I was, yeah. And as a former Liverpool fan, you yeah. were ranting was, and raving. Uh, you know me, like, going around, you know, You're high-fiving net- the random people <laughs> in Liverpool. You'll uh, never walk again. You won't go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they done all right against City though, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in yeah. all fairness, I reckon they were pissed still from like, Celebrating, yeah. maybe, yeah, that's why I like because like, you guess you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? Oh, I would, I yeah. would, yeah. yeah. But you know, fair play, champions. Yeah, you deserve it's, uh, it. It's all deserve me, it. yeah. Thank yeah, you, guys. Cheers, well, tainted, yeah. but, yeah. <laughs> tainted with uh, just good yeah. energy. Yeah, well, I guess know. it's you know, with the lockdown and everything, you know, who, who, who knows what would have happened? Yeah, uh, we do. <laughs> if, uh, if the season had gone Liverpool ahead, they couldn't have played any games that still would have won the league. <laughs> uh, Tom, you were buying stuff from the Liverpool shop. How was that experience? Uh, I was fine, you know. I kept my distance. I was in another city. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it's it's for a friend. So uh, I'm glad I'm still a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Joe McGrath turned 48. So oh, he's off camera. Behind bars. And of course, most importantly, uh, we filmed a sketch about a drug dealer. And they got to number one on trending. Yeah. Despite, it? Again. despite holding Same. cocaine and pills in the thumbnail. <laughs> I know what YouTube, YouTube like. Nowadays. Yeah, this is it. New edgy. Number one. Dave, you're in that. I and, am. And people yeah. went, Dave can act. Oh, yeah. star, you and I guys. I thought Dave's been in this before, <laughs> you know. A lot of people think you, yeah. you act as a cockney on this podcast. Oh, no, they feel like I put the... Uh, What's the, the word? Accent. accent. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. I got confused. That is proof that he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. No one chooses that. Yeah, by the same token, though, some people didn't feel that James Allrod was a natural drug dealer. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> is that a is that a delicious beverage of coke I see before my eye? 
he went, oh, we can't hang around with these anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They've done a weed. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke the devil's lettuce, they have. Oh, uh, so today we're talking about beliefs. Um, the, the idea for this podcast came from, uh, I think, a couple of weeks ago we were on about conspiracy theories and I said, uh, hey lads, do you believe in anything that uh, isn't actually proven? And, uh, you know, we had a great 10 minute conversation, which I just cut from the podcast. <laughs> so I thought, and we we're going to play that now. We <laughs> could could milk this for an hour at least. Um, so we're going to break it down, starting with religion. Oh, um, oh potato. Touchy. Uh, well, priests are. Uh, <laughs> Max, I, oh, I turn to you Hello. in my hour of need. Yes. Uh, are you are you a religious man? No, but hey. uh, I, do you know what? It's one of them. It's like I wouldn't say I'm atheist. Is it agnostic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. Who fucking knows? You a know? fence sitter. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it could be anything, mate. Yeah. You know. I'd, the the issue is, you say fence sitter. It's either believe in nothing or believe in these very strict things. You know. Yeah, yeah I'd say agnostic. I, okay. I have no idea. Um, um, Tom, um, uh, are you are you a religious man? Uh, no, I'm not. I was, I was brought up religious. Do you believe in anything? Sure, why not? I believe we love. probably don't know as much about things, you know. So I do understand yeah. uh, Max's perspective, and that you know anything could be the fucking case. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess atheism is uh, is atheist, so it's kind of against. So you, you're not saying that nothing categorically, just that religion, you know. Is yeah, not, yeah. So, uh, Dave, what about you? Uh, no, but atheist. <laughs> I think it's a load of old crap. Personally, yep. but my, my view on it is like if you believe in it, fair enough, it, it makes you fall asleep at night, it makes you think you're a better person. Yeah. Are you confusing religion with lavender? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, it's not a flower. Right. What well, if it makes again. you think you're a bad person? Um, oh, and you're just makes, tortured by it. Uh, oh, I don't know. They just read a book yeah. about There's, space and that because it that, that, you <laughs> book know, about that'd turn your mind, wouldn't it? There's yeah. people that self is it flagellate where they whip themselves yeah, yeah. so they oh, can get closer to God. Kind of, uh... I thought it was where you hang yourself and you wank. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's auto erotic <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. like I always get the confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to think he atheism. Used to, he, he would self flag like not auto erotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a and too I want to be closer to God, get me a belt and a coat. I used wagon. to think atheism was a form of athlete. Yeah. Because ah. uh, it's got af, af Yeah. 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 No, yeah, that's it. See what I mean? So, <laughs> Fair uh, enough. This is what I mean. If you were religious, you'd have known that, I suppose. I what about you, Stephen? Yeah, I'm agnostic, just like you. Uh, as I said, I don't want to rule anything out because. God only knows what could happen. Not literally, though, because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't believe in much because, well, I'm too thick to think that far out of the world. But, right. you know, with, with RE, my experience of RE was in high school, we just watched different TV shows that vaguely, yeah. you know, catered towards a religious idea or... It was Vicar of Dibley was an obvious one. Great it's then when you, you're watching an episode <laughs> of you watch it. Hey, that's a great show. I thought you was. I thought you meant like you were watching like BBC documentaries, not, no, 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 not no. comedies. Forget that. Religion. Bruce Almighty, bend it like Beckham. <laughs> this is genuinely right. what we watched. March of the Penguins. They like that one. Truman yeah. Show. Yeah. Uh, didn't watch March of the Penguins. We watched uh, what, what The Simpsons. You, what were you tested on at the end? <laughs> Nothing, because it was up till year nine. <laughs> so there was no tests. What? Can That's you say what? Can was you it fail, Ari? Did you go to school at a cinema? Yeah, yeah, Ari can fail you. <laughs> can you? <laughs> my, my sister told me that the Ari teacher uh, once uh, he did an he did an anecdote about the time he was having sex from <laughs> while swinging from the chandelier. Did he show that video? <laughs> 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 like, I love this in Ari. Yeah. Like, you can see it loose in there. <laughs> That's <laughs> poor workmanship, that is. Not my fat ass. Pay attention because you will be tested on. <laughs> go home and practice. <laughs> Here's the second coming. Look, <laughs> look at me go. Didn't take me three days to rise again. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be back. Uh, <laughs> what are your experiences of RE? Uh, Tom, you're a religious school, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. so it was kind of. Yeah, you know, black prayers before assembly. Uh, we yeah. did have a class that was compulsory, and we did get uh, it was a GCSE, so oh, I got a GCSE in wow. religious nice. studies. 
And they say religious studies, but it was a Catholic school, so you did like a tiny little bit like on, oh, there's these other religions, uh, you know, if you're interested in that, but uh, this is the one. So did, would you fail for being an atheist? Uh, no, because I, I, I passed. So, you, so you're allowed to give any opinion just as long as yeah, you Yeah, it was it a up. fucking blag, really. Because I went to a Catholic school as well. So I had the same like yeah. GCSE stuff and and the exams are insane. It's like, what is your opinion on blank? Mm. RE okay. is the highest GCSE I got. <laughs> what did you get? A B. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Div. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then I went to a, a religious college after because like just, I mean, I'm, I'm not obsessed. You work at a church now as well. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the books. Yeah, yeah, to be ordained. Uh, so, um, but yeah, the college was in, was in Russia and it was like kind of completely, there was more, there was a lot more Muslims there than Catholics because it was a Catholic college. Like we'd yeah. still kind of say like Catholic prayers before assembly. And it was Strange. like kind of compulsory. Everyone had to stand up and it was just a bit weird. Dave, did you, did you ever go to church? I didn't. No, no. Well, not never. My mum's not family, aren't religious in the slightest. If I'm on my deathbed, I'll probably do a little prayer. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just... No, I, 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 don't, I don't believe in it at all. But again... Don't like say that in the say, prayer. Don't you say... <laughs> It's better safe than sorry. Who would you who would you pick? Pray to Buddha. Yeah. The big guy. I he think Buddha, well Buddhists, fed. from what I've read, I've not read much, they seem to have a... If I was going to go for a religion, I yeah. think that's mm. one that I'd go towards. Because they I, believe I in... Peaceful, the spiritual, isn't it? You know? They believe in the whole reincarnation thing, didn't they? There we go. So, and, uh, that's, uh, that's a nice one for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Max, did you ever go to church? Yeah, my grandma's a devout Catholic. You can uh, say your grandma's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I missed that. I missed that. Funerals. Uh, yeah, funeral. but you, you, you must. Did you... I just be like a church service, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that sort of thing. But you refused yeah. to go. Obviously. Well, I, I spat. All right. <laughs> just spit in the holy just chuck her in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> chuck her in the bin. Uh, yeah, Buddhism I... is really going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Should we back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to a Catholic school, so we were. At the end of every term, we would go to this like massive chapel. <laughs> we went to <laughs> <For> Old Towers. <laughs> <laughs> the communion one. <laughs> pass it round, pass it round, don't be greedy. Um, it was weird though because like we had a we had a few Muslim students as well, mm. and we we had to go to the chapel, uh, this big cathedral, to do like hymns and stuff at the end yeah. of the term. And obviously they were like, "Oh, we don't really want to do that," yeah, you know, like, you know. They were forced to. It was insane. It was. I was just there, like, don't make them do it. Yeah, you know, that's mad. Praying to someone that they I yeah, don't, don't believe don't, in. Yeah. That's yeah. wrong. Well, it's bad enough they made me do it. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one. Um, yeah, there was a. My grandma took me to Sunday school. Yeah, oh, really. Oh, sod that. Oh, Couldn't get two that. days off. Just constantly. I'd, I'd leave. And she'd she'd set me, you know, work to do. Go outside and find Christ. <laughs> she, she I was looking for hours. <laughs> Is he under the bin? Yeah. <laughs> There's Dave's nan. She was, the the, she was the one that gave me the bike with no brakes on. So <laughs> I almost saw Christ that day. Uh, yeah, Sunday school. You said you, you had uh, Sunday I went, school experience. I went to a couple of Sunday school things, but then the local church had a Friday night club, which was <laughs> the, the place to be. So I got my taste for cavos. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night, Sunday morning. <laughs> that was just like a kids' club, basically. But I went to church a few times because my my nan was religious. The last one I went to, I needed a <laughs> needed a sneeze for like the whole service, and my nose was plating up. And it was like the whole the whole time I was there, I just couldn't concentrate on what they were saying because I was just like, oh, I'm gonna have to sneeze. Because I just thought I can't sneeze here; I'll be judged. <laughs> um, but I knew it wasn't for me. I went to a funeral service, and they were just playing Otis Redding. I was singing out as Redding instead of like, you know, the typical... Did you go to a gospel service? <laughs> <laughs> a gospel farm. No, they were singing. You were brought up in Harlem, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like all that about a church. You yeah, know, all the, the singing. Gospel the gospel yeah, was like, yeah. when they're proper going for it. Yeah. Like gospel, typical yeah, Americans. Gospel, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love all that. I'm, I'm into all that. Yeah. But yeah. not... All right, cause... Ronnie Salford, mate. Is there? Yeah. No just way. The studio. I might give that a go, you yeah. know. Not praying that, just to listen. listen. Just get yeah. together, have a sing song. Yeah. I'd love to be part of a gospel choir, obviously not singing, because yeah. I'd yeah, ruin it, but just feel powerful. They're just so enthusiastic. Mm. I'd love to dance with them. What else? All that. <laughs> have you Have you ever seen the televangelists? What? In America. Oh, the American oh, yeah, televangelists. Big business, isn't it? What's They're that? interesting. Have you not heard it? You must have. Um, they're yeah. the people that have, like, yeah. big cathedrals, and they come out and they just start screaming, yeah, yeah. like, 
I can hear voices. Yeah. You know, and that oh, they, yeah, yeah. you are healed, my child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff. And you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they make so much money, man. Yeah, that's well, like, just a scam. It is, isn't it? Yeah, have, well, have you yeah. seen them all denying like the virus and stuff? And, yeah, like, yeah. Just, yeah. My children will be protected from this <laughs> virus. <laughs> <laughs> you are we, my flock now. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they get so much money. They got private. They got uh, fleets of private jets, God. mansions. They're where all the coolest they don't get bands. taxed, do they, churches? No, no. So, so big business as well. There's yes. some churches in the UK yeah. that have just yeah. Yeah. set up. Well, we've got Scientology yeah. here in Manchester. We've got one of them on Dean's Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Have you God. seen much about Scientology? Have you kind of... I, I only know Tom Cruise's. Yeah. Yeah. And I who's know, the other one? I know one. enough about Scientology <laughs> that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, we could get done just for talking yeah. about it on this sort of thing. Yeah. They then. won't touch oh, me. I think Joe McGrath's a sleeper agent for Scientologists. Well, like financially, kind of, obviously that's why people like Tom Cruise and stuff get to the top of it, but it's one of those classic ones that you, you pay money to become more advanced in the religion. And, like, it's kind of so made, yeah. made up as it's gone along. Like, they've released some of the... Or it's found its way out into common knowledge what some of the uh, the documents that you're made privy to yeah. as you kind of learn more and more secrets. And it's like, okay, <laughs> like, some weird kind of robo Z Z robot Zoltan. alien in yeah. the sky that's kind of zapping souls and stuff. Zoltan owns yeah. the universe. Oh, yeah. The moon's an egg, innit? Yeah. And you pay like hundred that. millions to be, you know, privy to that kind of information. If you could be, like, religious, though, have your own religion, yeah. born into it, what would you want to be? I, I, I don't know. There's, there's none of them that I could... Wow. The thing is, I was going to be born into. I was born into being Christian, Catholic. Mm. Yeah. Guess it didn't really mean anything. Um, oh, and all that. Yeah. Well, I, do you know? I'm glad that it was one that wasn't um, kind of forced at me a bit more. You know, because some parts of the world, if you're born into a religion, you don't really. So, you're not going to get to have an open mind, are you? So like that, arranged marriages. That's yeah. That's awful. That's bad. So you know, I'm thankful that you know, it was quite. Although, aggressive part of the world. When I was a 23 year old virgin, I would have taken it the arranged. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we met. <laughs> <laughs> My parents would not next. do that to me. <laughs> Fuck off. The ultimate catfish. <laughs> that is no I'm god. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I've arranged this myself. Sort me out, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I want grandchildren. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, and of course, fucking a man would do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about your science. <laughs> so, religion on the whole. Okay, yeah, fair agree. enough. Uh, yeah. Done that. Now, <laughs> next up, I've got uh, just a. We'll just have a yes or no. Okay. Aliens. 100%. I believe I said yes or no. <laughs> You're going to continue to undermine me at every possible... Uh, Tom? Sure, yeah. It's uh, got to be. <laughs> Just blather now, yeah. uh, Dave? Yep, I agree. Yep, I agree. Yep. Stephen? I said one word, Max, so you, you've interjected on every... <laughs> Yes, but of course it's not the uh, the actual aliens that we see in films. It'll no. just be different life forces. Yeah. yeah. Could right. be, could be, just like us. Or like fish. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> like apparently, if you look at if you look at uh, planets in that, you know the one with the rings, is it Neptune, Jupiter? There's, there's a few. Uh, Sauron. Sa Saturn. Saturn. Saturn's got the ring. It's got the moon. In one yeah. of its moons, it's just made of ice, and yeah. they reckon inside that. A lot of cod. A lot of uh, yeah. Is like it Europa? Bacteria. No, it's Titan. Titan. Well, Titan and Titan and Europa are like ice moons. But yeah, yeah. And they think that under the water there could be life. Exactly, hey. and they're aliens because. <laughs> You think about it. Yeah. That's so true. Hey, hey Max, what, what do you reckon's in your anus? <laughs> Cod. Oui. Had a lot of seafood last night. <laughs> Got to stop eating it whole. Sorry. <laughs> it says a lot that I didn't. Nice, straight away, I went to it going up the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sat on a fish tank last night. <laughs> I went to one of those restaurants where you could pick out what fish you wanted. <laughs> Just a big fucking cod. <laughs> Who's asking? Oh. Where's your biggest cod? <laughs> and I'll have this whole. In boy. Now this next one, the law of attraction. So it's sort of to do with uh, the this whole book called The Secret, isn't there? And mm. you know, visualizing things. It's hard to prove it. But do you believe in that sort of thing? Do you ever do it yourself? So just, you mean, just explain to us briefly, you know. Like the law of attraction. Yeah. So say I want a, something to happen in my life or I want a certain object. What is it to happen for me? Yeah. It was I thought, oh, I'm going to meet Jack Whitehall soon. Yeah. This is of all things, but I, it just came in my head. I kept thinking it. And then uh, a couple of weeks later, I got a message saying, oh, we've got this 
video to film with Jack White all, yeah. and then it happened. So I was like, oh, that's strange. But <laughs> Please from... stop hanging around outside Jack White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's fucking shut you up. <laughs> but I think more, more like career wise or yeah. things you aspire to have. Uh, Conor McGregor, yeah. he, he talks about the law of attraction a lot. He, he visualizes himself doing certain things mm. and then it happens. His famous knockout of Jose Aldo. Yeah. He, he's visualizing that. Of course, that could be tactics for the fight. Yep. But he, he's the, someone that believes in it. There'll be loads of people that. The first one I ever heard of was uh, Jim Carrey with the check. Oh, oh yeah. His dad. Yeah. No, the check he wrote to himself. He wrote, oh, yeah, he wrote a check yeah. to himself and then he Is put it in his pocket and he, he got the same amount of money for Dumb and Dumber, was it? Or? Yeah, it was on a birthday yeah. or no something way. like that when he turned a certain age. Yeah. yeah. That's I've crazy. got more coats. Fucking yeah. full of, <laughs> full of I guess he wanted to be an actor, didn't he? Yeah. And he was very talented. A comedian, yeah. So I guess there's, there is, it, it does, you know. Whilst I, I accept it to a certain extent, a lot of it's kind of tied into self belief. Yeah. Because I think if, you know, if people, if you just go and do something, you know, a certain percentage of people will succeed, won't they? If they have enough self belief and if they believe they can't fail. My dream was to be a comedian. Dave, what was yours? Say so likewise, actor slash comedian. Yeah. So I'm halfway there. I'm to halfway quote there. Bon Jovi. <laughs> Tom. Um, I don't know. I, I did kind of want to be successful, uh, for famous, and for you know, doing something to do with comedy. But I thought yours was a footballer. Ah, oh, no, but yeah, that was when I was young. Young. Yeah, this I was. Had, was I had to give up yeah, on yeah. that quite quickly. It was very apparent that <laughs> I've known Tom in his late twenties to be still thinking I could lace up my boots for United. <laughs> I always wanted Never to be a lion late. when I was a kid. You are. I wanted to be a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Whether that means now I'll go into a production company that's called the Lion, maybe, yeah. or we'll get go in a film a lion. exactly yeah. where I play like imagine there's a Lion King four. Yeah. Or the Wizard of Oz. Exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah, the the law of attraction. I sort of I've, I like the idea of it. You know, visualizing. Mm. Although I've visualized to meet Steve Coogan a lot, yeah. and it's it's not yeah. happened. But I'm sure it will. But that's just the self belief, like yeah. you say. Yeah. What about the butterfly effect? Um, I don't. I I think I think that's so true. Like, there's no way you yeah. can even deny that is a false thing. Yeah. What going back in the past and doing something? Like, no, no. So the butterfly effect is basically yeah. something small can turn something big. Well, like basically, as babies going into humans, isn't exactly. It? Yeah. yeah, I think uh, to come back to you know the the Buddhist thinking and energy and things being connected, you know, I do think that there's maybe something in that, and you know, things to being positive. Yeah, and you know, things can happen with you know, there's all sorts of energy. Yeah, Instead maybe. Of but I guess life's always up and down. I think that's why the horoscopes and stuff are so successful because no matter what you hear. You'll personalise it to yourself. Exactly. You'll find yeah, a way yeah, to yeah. think, you know, yeah, that, that makes sense for me. Yeah. So I guess... It's so generic. You know, yeah. Mm. Horoscopes, yeah. I mean, yeah. the ones you get by written by Russell Grant in a paper. Yeah. <laughs> they're just... Talk to a friend. Yeah. They might yeah. need you. Work might be difficult yeah. and all this stuff. Yeah. But, that... uh, it's, it's different to star signs in a way because there's, there's a little bit... I see a little bit more cohesion with that in terms of yeah. the month you're born and how you behave. There could be something to do with it. Mm. But I guess if people are doing the horoscopes, like or, or, or people are like the star signs themselves, and you know that the zodiac and that yeah. that theory's kind of been written. So anyone, no matter, even if it's a complete blag, they're always relating back to certain known characteristics. So there's a consistency there, even yeah. if it could be the same, just plucking nothing out of any, you know. Yeah, it's like the Chinese New Year, like what, like the animals. I'm a rabbit. <laughs> so. But there's some things that are like you say relate to, but yeah. that's because I'm going ah. Oh, that is me. I'm a rabbit. I'm a rabbit. Yeah, yeah. I've got a fluffy tail. Nice ears. What's, what's everyone's everyone's Chinese name? I'm a pig, so you can't be one. Yeah. I don't know. Should we find out? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pig. I'm a, I'm a uh, rabbit. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm a rabbit. I could be wrong, you know. Uh, but, but one of these two are rats. Yeah. <laughs> Whilst they're doing that, me and Dave will just uh, compare knob lengths. <laughs> oh, you yeah. are a snake. <laughs> <laughs> what star sign are you? I'm, I'm Cancer. Oh, lucky. Yeah. You're the crab. This is nice. It. I'm a Pisces. I'm two fish. Oh, so there you go. I'm a Capricorn. It's like a yeah. goat mermaid thing. Because don't they say Scorpion. like Scorpio. most murderers are born as Aries or sank along those lines? Sank like that. It might. It might be Tom's one actually. Like What's most that? serial killers are born <laughs> in a certain month. In a yeah. certain yeah. month, like October, whatever it is. Scorpio. Scorpio is apparently. Yes. 
less like like likable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Scorpio is like really kind of almost a bit psychopathic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that yeah. must be it then. Serial killers. Yeah. So what have we got? What year were you born, Stephen? Ninety five. I must Nin- be piggy. Ninety six. You're a pig, are you? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. All okay. right. Um, so rooster is me. Yeah. You're a horse. Yes. Well, my yeah. ninety nine. I'm pretty sure it's a rabbit. You are a rabbit. Ah, there we so go. I know my stuff. I know my stuff. Um, <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Oh yeah, Star Sign. Yeah. So the, the what I saw from it was I noticed there's quite a lot of people in showbiz around around this time of year, mm. like uh, Ricky Gervais, Jack Whitehall. I think Peter Kay's one as well. Mm. So what I saw from them was like people that write their own stuff, perform it and edit it. So what I thought was that they all seem to be like controlling and you know that sort yeah. of shit. I don't believe in the Star Sign itself. Yeah. But the time that you're born, you would go through certain things. Maybe that are similar to other people Weather. that are born in that era. You know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not that, but you know, like if you're born in September, you'd be what the oldest in yeah. the year group, yeah. maybe yeah. at school. So that that might affect you some way. Confident. Yeah, you know, you can always tell who's uh, into the star signs and that because they're all bloody weirdos. I hate yeah. the fact that people... the art teachers, yeah, for example, you know, with the frizzy hair. But then I've met loads of people. Well, not loads. Uh, just there's you'll meet people and that they don't like uh, exhibit anything of that so yeah. you know for all the you know the times you can you can relate it to yourself and you think oh yeah that's right you'll meet someone who's thinking that's absolutely not true Nothing. or yeah. you'll get one yourself and you just think no way should we go to Stephen Lies yes. <laughs> Stephen yeah. Lies even Stephen uh, Tom yeah. you're our detective again yeah, yeah you had your pants pulled down we saw everything <laughs> <laughs> should we begin from which yeah. you go first yeah. yeah I ruined my mum's tarot card reading that's it <laughs> Uh, I was once locked outside for an hour, my own house, by with some uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Max, I got kicked out of an RE class for pretending to defecate myself. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't actually pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, that's at least half true. Go <laughs> right, uh, on, Max. <laughs> oh, straight off the bat, okay. Um, so, I was in RE... And some kids were messing about, and I thought I'd make a joke and said that. My body was releasing faecal matter. <laughs> That's our future Were well, you new to the school? Was this the one that you had no friends in? No, this one, I had friends in this one. Oh, yeah. I had friends in this one. Uh, you've got to have friends to get away with that sort of thing. Um, and obviously she just had enough and told me to leave. Very good. Uh, Steve? You let him off like that? <laughs> Look at us, why he did that? I don't believe it. Oh. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, okay. Why did you do that? Well, everyone else was messing about, so yeah. I thought I'd sort of throw my two, uh, two yeah. cents in. Okay. And, uh, she did some improv. Were you normally the class clown? Or was this like, you know, you, yeah, saw, yeah. you saw a moment to kind of yeah, carve yeah. your reputation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This, this, was, this was like the first big break for me. Yeah. Class clown or ass brown? <laughs> That's me. That's my nickname. <laughs> Not the ass brown again. Oh, this is going to be a tricky week. Third time this week. <laughs> Go on, Stephen. Um, so my mum, uh, she does tarot readings, mainly for her friends, but then she also has people that come around in groups and you know, sort of pay for the experience or yeah. however long it is. Didn't really care for any of the stuff, for the tarot cards. I just didn't believe in it. So she'd always, like, get them out with my sister, uh, the cards, <laughs> and, uh, and just say, like, Stephen, do you want me to do one for you? I'd be like, no, just leave me alone, please. Uh so then when she was upstairs in a room, I went down and I just, I had my Tracy Beaker top trumps, which is a great set of cards, <laughs> and I just put one of those in there, thought nothing of it, and because it, it wasn't it wasn't that often that she did the tower readings. Yeah. About two weeks later, she had a, she had like a group and she had a paid one. <laughs> she spread out all the cards and then there was just like a, Justine Littlewood, I don't know, it was Jacqueline Wilson cards. Um, she just had a rogue card and obviously that sort of ruined the mood for everyone They're like, is this a piss take? Uh, so she she told me off for it quite quite badly, but I didn't do that much wrong. It was just just a little joke. Right. It's, okay. So I, I've since realised to respect other people's yeah. beliefs. Yeah. And I know your mum does do stuff like that. Uh, and that, we know that you do stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so even if this one's not true, it fucking should be because that's exactly what he's like. Um, go on, Dave. Uh, well, basically, in our in my old house, we lived in a house of ten, and. Um, no one ever used to answer the door, so I had to go down because so they were kept ringing. And uh, I shut the door behind me, but it was one of those 
if you show it behind you, you're locked out. And I didn't have my keys. And uh, they just wouldn't leave because, you know what, Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, once, they, once they get a bite. You know, exactly. Yeah. And I, 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 I was quite interested at the time because like, I was just thought I'd be there for 10 minutes sort of thing and uh, waiting outside. So I was like, talking to them because I didn't know what it was. I thought it was they were like looking after someone that uh, witnessed a murder mm. or something. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, what's going on? Who, who's died then? Um, but... Yeah, so I was, I was entertaining them, so they just wouldn't leave, <laughs> and no one. I kept ringing the doorbell. Can we go and see people were walking past in and out the house, <laughs> <and dancing. laughs> dancing. <laughs> you're lick, you're lick, you're lick. Have you heard this one? <laughs> um, and I kept ringing the doorbell, and no one would answer because the everyone... Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking out the window, <laughs> laughing at me. No. <laughs> no, they, no one would come to the door. And let me in, so I was stuck outside for an hour, and I couldn't tell him to go away because one of them reminded me of my grandma. I didn't get uh, back in eventually. Uh, that someone eventually came down because I kept yeah. just ringing and ringing and ringing. But you know, you just don't want to be rude, sort of thing. Yeah, so, yeah. I get. Uh, you know I mean? I've been there. Yeah. Has anyone else had a Jehovah's Witness experience? I might have. It avoid? might have been a salesperson. I don't yeah. know. Uh, Mormons. Mormons. Jehovah's Witnesses. I didn't know we get them over here as well. We get. We get some. Oh, we bummed into them all. They go on mission. Yeah. They do missionary yeah. uh, they said, uh, they stuff. So they. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I think they said they watched a video, but they can't anymore. Oh, oh, oh no! Bless them. That's yeah. a shame. That's why I wouldn't want to be a Mormon. This is it. For that it's reason, no that reason alone. <laughs> right then, uh, I guess I should make a decision. Yeah. Um, now the most believable one is Stevens. I can't believe how you just went past the most outrageous story. Yeah. Really, I've him. perhaps become a little bit jaded to Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I, so ever since the four four foot table. <laughs> that was part of it. Pissing <laughs> uh, on the grave. That uh, oh, yeah. Okay, well I think I think I'm wrong, but I've got nothing. I'm. I think I'm probably gonna be wrong. But I'm gonna say yours is true. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. Sorry, Damn it. Bro. Sorry. So is the am I looking for one truth? Just one truth. One truth. Fine, go with Max. Wrong again! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Honestly, it was hell. Oh, oh it was ridiculous. Oh, but, you idiot. An hour outside an hour, with Joe's Witnesses. Honestly, I, I, no one was answering, and it was ridiculous. Uh, they, they were so nice, though, yeah. so I just felt so bad. And you know when you just like hide in your arm to ring the doorbell, yeah. but obviously it was sticking Yeah, out. that's what I was thinking, you know, you're there for an hour and you're like going Literally, like that. It is, it was. Is it, gonna, it just sounded it's like, like oh, a it bit was, cartoonish. It was, it was pain, it was painful. But they were lovely yeah. ladies and um, I've got to go there next week. <laughs> <laughs> did they give you a copy of Watchtown? They did, they, yeah. and I, <laughs> they actually tried giving me the book and I was like, I won't read it, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, bless them. Lovely women though, yeah. lovely women. Oh, well, fair play to him. That, that was disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, not, well, just my own performance. Yeah. No, don't, don't blame me. <laughs> but yourself. they were tricky. They were good yeah, lies. Some sneaky, Very sneaky good boys. lies. Yours. <laughs> just... Do you believe in soulmates? No. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> uh, soulmates. Join us next week when... Uh, do you know, like, two people are just meant for each, each other. other. Yeah. Gotcha. So, um, do you think Jenna, do you think she's your soulmate? I don't know. Like... I don't want to sound like an arsehole. I do love my girlfriend, but yeah. I don't. I don't think it is true. No, because you can yeah. easily like if when you like, when you break up with them, you'll meet someone else. Do you know what I mean? There's like, nearly well, seven not, not billion when. people in the world, and I just happened to be, to be the, the soulmate, soulmate that was in my class at uni. Exactly, you know, like, exactly. Come on, uh, meant to be. Yeah, that, yeah. that is my point. That's why. Yeah. In the nicest, uh, thank you, Tom. Yeah. So I was meant to. Say. Well, mine travelled further afield to the Wirral, so <laughs> <laughs> if that's not meant to be, I don't know what is. But surely, if it's meant yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, that's why it happened like mm. that. You know? she, she just tripped and fell in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you know, and on, on, st- statistically, you know, it's probably going to be someone Chinese, and none of us are with Chinese people. I, I yeah, I don't believe it either. I, no. I just think there's people that you you're drawn to. There'll be probably quite a lot of them. Like person that you're more like drawn to the personality, I suppose. Isn't? Well, yeah, this not, is it. Yeah, so oh, if like. <laughs> I really yeah. wanted to say yeah. uh, <laughs> What about you, Max? Have you found your soulmate? <clears throat> Who knows? Uh, That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well. You, you know. It's going well. We're having a very good time. Um, I like her a lot. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, You're early in, I'm in this too, journey, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too into the whole soulmate sort yeah. of thing. 
because that that means there's somebody out there sort of puppeteering the whole situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like I I don't need God in my business. Yeah. Now to quote Stevie Wonder, love very, is blind. Very superstitious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, you did you did say that you were superstitious when we, when we so. spoke about this a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your worst one? Would you say? Um, I hate the single magpie thing. I hate. Salute one. Never eat just one. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me with a big net down at the park. <laughs> He's at it again. <laughs> I hate that so much. It, it it's crippling. So how does it affect you then? So if you if you looked out and saw one three mag- magpies, I, I just get I just feel like something's off, in. which is stupid because I know it's not true. You go looking yeah. for the second one, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that when I was five. To be fair. Cheers. What, what, about, <laughs> what about walking under a ladder? Eh, walking under a ladder. Not to us. Not to us no. about that. No. It's, the, it's the magpie thing, the number thirteen. Really? Yeah. Grim. Any number. I just I I kept seeing it everywhere. My. There was a period of like a, a fair few months where everywhere I'd look, that's the only thing that would stand out. I'd look at a page, yeah. like a web page, that had loads of numbers just, on. That's what I was looking like, at. You were drinking a lot around that. Genuinely, I was I was about to talk about. My mum has this weird thing about numbers that she always sees. Yeah. And I was like, so strange yeah. and I kept seeing the number 161 yeah. and it's 1616 yeah. now yeah, and it's yeah. there again it's, it's staring me nice. in the face <laughs> I see uh, <gasps> there you go no. I see 911 every day like that because you're, you're, you're a corner website <laughs> 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 you just, just got on the I like, told it you like either, something else <laughs> either at 11 minutes past 10 7 or at 11 minutes past nine in the morning, fucking guarantee, I just happened to check my phone. I, I used to yeah. bet him each morning, will it happen? When I made a killing. We went round Tom's to watch the footy. He was like, watch this, watch this documentary, it's great. I, I, the, the one time I had it was when I watched Liverpool. And uh, if they won the game, I wouldn't wash my shirt. And they were really good for one season. And I... Uh, I just started to fucking stink. <laughs> I was I was praying for a draw or a loss at <laughs> one point. Yeah. Can't do three drains. Yeah. Like stand on two. Yeah. That's about it. I have to go all oh, heap over there. What what's the logic to that though? You can do yeah. two but not three. Uh I don't know. I it's I've it's just ever since I was a kid I've just done it. And I don't know what the reason is, if it is unlucky. Yeah. Or I just that. can't walk on three drains. Well, it's it's a weird thing though, yeah. because it's so stupid. But it's like I'm from Portsmouth and I heard that down there. Mm. So I've got no idea how yeah. this three drain rule is spread across the country. Yeah, it's Maybe yeah. even the world. <laughs> that would surprise um, me. Should we move on to fate? Or sure. as the French say, fatty. I'm going to have a load of French people. Uh, uh, so, in terms of fate, uh, just initially, one word answer do you believe in it? Uh, no. Maybe. Uh, I would have said no, but uh, this week's uh, Tom Looney research has just kind of <laughs> blown your God. cotton socks off. <laughs> research, <laughs> fuck off. Research, <laughs> yes, research. Guys, let's heavily not go research. Head to head with segments here. Yeah. Come on. This is a Dave Rage right, world, and say. you're all just living <laughs> in it. Anyway, I read some stuff and I just thought, fuck me, that's like obviously it's. I still probably deep down think it's yeah. coincidence, but. Some of it's just mental. Do you ever do you ever worry that it could just be made up? Sure. Um, I, but I did try and... Uh, I've seen a few stories and I tried to check a lot of them and a few of them have got, like, uh, are sourced and, Ooh. you know, like famous stories of twins and stuff that have led similar lives and never yeah. knew each other, separated at birth kind of thing. But yeah, I guess totally. that you just think there's so many random stuff that doesn't relate to, it, to anything happening every second of every day. Mm. Yeah. And so with all these infinite possibilities for years, mm. something's going to happen where it's like that's yeah. How the hell the fuck's that happen by chance? That's mental. I've never had an instant of fate. I was trying to think of something. I thought maybe something weird has happened. The only time I could think of something really weird happened out of nowhere was when I fell off my bike because some kid was just going down a hill and just stopped randomly for no reason. Yeah. So I I slammed on my brakes, went over the top, and just fractured both my wrists. <laughs> And I thought, Jesus. maybe if I'd have gone to paintball where I was heading to, yeah. I would have been, all been, right. been shot and got a, an annoying bruise. <laughs> Thank God I only <laughs> fractured my wrists. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> See, Je- Jenna, Jenna's proper into fate. She believes yeah. that your path is set yeah. and then you've, whatever, whatever is in between is unnecessary. You're just getting this place to this place sort of thing. And then We're you're on autopilot. Nice. Does that mean she's 
like quite relaxed or yeah yeah she's to be fair very chill but I, I don't believe it in this because if you think about it like a person born and then they die at 16 they were born to die at 16 yeah if that makes sense I know it's yeah. a bit morbid mm. but that's the way I don't yeah agree with it in that sense if that makes sense mm. it's an yeah. odd one as you said like, like there's so many coincidences yeah. but because the world's so big and time so long those things could happen at any point and yeah. you would still say oh that's weird and I think you know obviously it's very easy to say it was fate with hindsight yeah but if you're looking ahead and you believe you have a fate yeah. it ties into what you were saying about the um, uh, what's it the attraction uh, the law of attraction law of attraction in that you know if you're if you believe that this is going to happen for you or happen to you yeah you know someone somewhere is going to subconsciously you know make choices and take paths that are leading them that way even though they think that it's just yeah. you know happening yeah. to them the the you know if it's like if it's meant to be it's meant to be kind of mentality yeah, can yeah. be yeah. can be quite nice you know yeah. it sort of takes the edge off your yeah. worrying True. so it's not, it's not all bad no it's not right. bad at all <laughs> uh, <laughs> next <Bye>. up <laughs> ghosts um, I personally don't believe in them I wish they were real sort of thing mm. not in the scary sense but it'd be nice wouldn't it just uh, have a spirit yeah, 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 yeah mm. like have a mate following you around. Like, well, not the, a dead mate, but like, like a, I don't know, a Victorian. I followed you around for that one. <laughs> <laughs> like a Victorian. So yeah. Like, yeah. Speak to them on a level, like through white noise yeah. and that. But I don't think it's... Uh... Max, you're, you're really into spirits. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh, I mean alcohol. Um, oh. do, you, uh, <laughs> uh, do, do you believe in the sort of paranormal? Uh <laughs> oh man, this it, again is depends on what she's had to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing things, you know. <laughs> it's one of them like the idea of ghosts is strange because I would hate to be one. You're just stuck yeah. on Earth. You can go like, anywhere, sure. True. Yeah, but then I guess you can watch a lot of things. You just go to gone. strip club. Yeah. Just walk through the... walls. That would be sick. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah, but then you have to do that for eternity. <laughs> True. Hey, ooh, I've walked through a wall. Now I've got. A billion years. To <laughs> <laughs> you know, and also, th- is that wasn't every- as fun as I thought it was yeah. going to be. <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> are there going to be more ghosts? Is everyone that ever died going to be a ghost? Yeah. True. Because then the world would just be, you, you, this room would just be packed full of ghosts. ghosts. Yeah, true that. Yeah. You know, true that. like you know, I'm sitting on the toilet at home. There's going to be some ghosts in that room. <laughs> So if, if they can go through walls so easily, he's going to see you pull down your pants oh God. and stay in oh no, there. No, no. Just a load of heads. They died there. there. Oh. <laughs> of all the rooms I could have haunted. <laughs> they died there. <laughs> Max Smith's on sweet. <laughs> Kill me again. <laughs> um, there's probably places that people have sort of assigned as a horror place. Like a... The, there's one in Brighton this uh he was a former mental asylum yeah and uh, it's an abandoned place and there's been YouTube videos there yeah I, it's one of them it's like you 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 go in there thinking it's scary yeah so it's gonna be scary mm. yeah you know so, so I, th- I think that probably links to like I mean I, I I do think that you know positive energy you know you put it out in the world you know it can mm. be good for you and that it just gets recycled it's in everything but like if you go to somewhere where something awful has happened, yeah. you kind of do go in expecting that you know you know this is somewhere where someone was murdered or mm. yeah. you know so it's overthinking. Yeah, would, the, exactly. Would you would you live in a house where somebody was murdered? It depends what else it was. Um, it, house, <laughs> murdered, know. murdered Four would taint it. Oh, go on. I, 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 like if you thought, oh god, somebody's died in here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the sun comes in through the window, it really pisses you off. <laughs> you do just want to slap your lip on the knife. Um, yeah, I guess it depends how as well. Like if it's pretty grisly, then mm. yeah, there's yeah. blood stains all over the wall. Uh, yeah. You've got to look at the estate agent at that point. And go, <laughs> I think that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> I booked this view in a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's have a juicy slice of IMAX. Hi guys, uh, Max here with another juicy slice of IMAX, as Stephen just said. Yeah. Um, but this is probably it's one of the juiciest. For buying time, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the juiciest uh, yeah, yeah. slices. Um, Stephen did say that. The <laughs> yeah, if you believe in miracles, this might not be shit. <laughs> a few years ago, uh, Hot New Movie 7 came out. And at this time, I was sort of experimenting with new new ways to branch out the IMAX segment. Right. And I thought of a really good game show idea. 
Ooh. So uh, I got a very good friend of mine, Oscar-winning actor, Brad Pitt, to come on board. And we just we just had a laugh. That's a all laugh, you want to do, isn't it? Win, exactly. some, win some prizes, ask some questions, and, you know, see how the IMAX, mm. the great IMAX segment can evolve. And it's just the two Lovely. of you. Just the two of us. Cool. Have you have you got have you got some audio from that? Yeah. Yep. Uh, funnily Listen enough, I've got some audio. Oh, you can um, send it in. Yeah. Oh, it's, nice. Let's listen to that now. Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. The hottest questions, the freshest actors, and the newest movies. It must be a night at the movies on IMAX. This week we are joined by Oscar-winning actor Brad Pitt. Let's see if he can take the heat. Welcome, Brad. Remember, if you get three questions right, you win the mystery box. So how's your marriage to Gwyneth Paltrow? It's very comfortable. I would also have accepted, not got much steam left. What? Now, on to question two. What would be a great sequel name for 7B? An eight? You're doing so well, Brad. How does it feel to be sitting here on IMAX? Home of the freshest new movie reviews. Feels good. Great to hear. I'm glad I got you before you were put on Looney Cooney. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Who is? I'd say you get more fun facts and trivia from a simple Google search and clicking the first article that pops up. But that's all he does himself. <laughs> Sad but true. Anyway, enough chit-chatting. Let's get to it. What film got you your first Oscar? I don't know. That's not good enough, Brad. Do you want to use your phone a friend? Yes. Great, here goes. Hello Kevin, Max here. Do you know who I am? I'm an obese man. A disgusting man who could barely stand up. I can forgive many things, but fat shaming is just criminal. He deserves to be locked up. Sad but true. Sadly, that's all the questions, so no mystery box for you. What's in the box? It's over, Brad. What's in the fucking box? Brad, please. Shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. That's it. I'm done with game shows. I'm going back to good old new movie reviews. So what makes you so special that people should listen? My movie reviews are only about the freshest, newest movies. It opens people's eyes and allows them to see new movies with a better mindset. I'm going to be standing right next to you because I wouldn't want to miss it. Thanks, Brad. There we have it. Well done. Oh. Fantastic. I've got to say, uh, did you record that late at night by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I love the whispering tones. <laughs> you probably hear snoring in the background. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably somebody listening to Looney Cooney to be honest. With you. Oh, wow. <laughs> bang, bang. What's wrong with you? Hey, get out. Uh, have a word with him, Snake. I've never been that long this year. Well, look. Another HR talk again. I think Max spit out of all of this, to be honest with you, Tom. Well, definitely. I mean, this segment's not very good anyway. No, exactly. Uh, but well, to start time. taking a pop at mine, it seems bitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Seven was from before he was born. <laughs> Can't wait for the next one, which is Shinder's List. <laughs> in this way, me wee nipper. Help yourself Thank in, you. boy. <clears throat> That's a lovely place. Hello, gents. Oh, this you is, all right, lads? This is very tasty. Yeah, this. You are right. You're right. Nice to meet you. And you are? Hello. You're not going to shake me out? Oh, sorry. Yeah, hello, you. Hello, mate. Yeah. Hello, mate. Hello, hello mate. mate. Hello. Pass the love around. And your your names are? Well, hello, mate. It's me, Des Tinney. <laughs> Des Tinney. You've probably heard of me before. If I you have. Been to <laughs> <laughs> That's me, boy. Oh, That's me, boy. This is me, is boy. It? This is Des Tinney's, uh, this is Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> named after <laughs> named after a lady because it's Destiny's child, isn't it? That's, oh, I just go it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't even told you. I'm, I'm, I'm scratching my head. No. <laughs> <laughs> you what just, the fuck was you thinking? You just found out that your whole life's been a joke that I made at oh. one of the nurses back that's at the hotel <laughs> hospital. Thirty years of piss taking. That's, so, <laughs> oh, that's so naughty of me, isn't it? Oh, Especially after that. your wee mother died. Yeah. Uh, how'd she die? <laughs> Destiny's <laughs> wife, her name was Kelly Katona, and she died in a, in, in a boating accident. <laughs> so anyway, uh, <laughs> so, so what do we owe the pleasure, gents? Yeah. Well, we've, we've had our life's ambitions, because we're just enchanted by the mysteries of life, like ah, Area 51 or yeah, The cool. Loving Where's Feel of a Woman. Where's my shoes gone? <laughs> 
That's my bloody feet, aren't they? You can tell, can't you? Look at that. Uh, so it's funny you should join us today. Yeah, it's uh, Because this podcast is all about beliefs. It is. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's, that's lovely. That's feet. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that is. Yes, yeah, so I love that. Yeah. I love me boy. <laughs> As you should. He's never um, said that before. Is this the first time? How does it make you feel, is it? <laughs> I've been holding it out for this podcast. He always says, can you tell me you love me, Dad? I said, save it for the podcast. <laughs> and I've done it today. Again, no, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all going together. <laughs> so, so have you two got a tale to tell? Oh, have we? Or one of you, at least. You should say tale, because... <laughs> We we have found the Loch Ness monster. Oh, and Nessie! Bigfoot. No way! All in the same day? Or? No, no. No, we found Nessie the day my wife died in a boating accident because <laughs> she said, "I've got this." And she took a snap of it, a uh, snap with a camera. You see, yeah, the camera. Yeah. And on. I said, "I, I want to give that to the Sun newspaper." And she went, "Oh no, that's a shit newspaper. No one should ever buy it." So I pushed her off the boat. <laughs> and I took the camera and I sent it in. <laughs> <laughs> and you're admitting this here now. Uh, where, where were you? I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> well, have you ever heard of the Loch Ness Monster? It's, it's the clues in the name. <laughs> Just checking, I thought I needed well, to check. I was in Monsterville in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an abandoned amusement park. So you saw the Loch Ness Monster that day? No. What about <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pass you off to my boy because he knows more about this than I do. My father raised me in Scotland as he right. searched his his whole life for the Loch Ness. Yeah. And we were out on the lake of the Loch and I <laughs> I delved deep into the water and I, I I got a great picture of it. It was magnificent. He's not even shown me this picture cool. yet, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera was not capable of being used underwater. I should have checked this prior oh, to taking the snap. Oh, um, but you, you can take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent oh, it was. Uh, can you describe it in a way? Like, like a picture? I, and my goggles were steamed at the time. So <laughs> no, it's that. That's why I didn't go down with him. <laughs> yeah. And how old were you? I was about, was about 24 at the time. Yeah. <laughs> when, when he was a young boy, we used to throw him in the water and see him make him swim. Of course, there's been loads of flimsy evidence like that, hasn't there? I know. Well, we, do, we told the papers, Beyonce's found Loch Ness. They didn't give a shit. They said, you're winding us up. I told them, this is the real deal. <laughs> well, Loch Ness does exist. I assume you mean the Loch Ness monster. monster yeah. 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 Aye, the monster in there. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find Bigfoot? That's a, that's one of the big questions. <laughs> big Literally questions like... for big feet. That's what my shoes are hiding. See? <laughs> Keep coming back to these shoes. Uh, so, <laughs> so you've you've seen Bigfoot? Oh, and... have we bloody seen it? You you know you I, know for a fact we have. Uh, we were out in the woods and and I got a picture. Yeah. And we could use it this time. Oh, nice, nice. Again, okay. I'd rather you just took my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a snap, and it was it was magnificent. Was it, if you oh, don't mind me saying, I don't, I'm I don't. so excited to show these. And where was we don't have taken? to show them because no, you could just take our word for it. Oh, I'd, I'd like, I'd, 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 t- I'd t- believe you on the Loch Ness, but Bigfoot, I'm having a bit of a struggle. There's, with, to there's be too you many don't believe skeptics. much, Dave, but you believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm worried that we've we've come on this platform. And you're just gonna scrutinise what I have for you. you and you, I, I'd like a show. Well, can we see it first? You can't be exactly. running a show about belief and not do some believing yourselves. <laughs> That's so suppose, true, Dad. I'm a wise man. <laughs> That's me. I killed my wife. <laughs> <laughs> A wife, man. I didn't know that until today. <laughs> again. Poor kid didn't have a chance, did he? <laughs> the police kept asking me a question. And I said, I'm saving it for the podcast. <laughs> the fuck is it, When I show you this, okay. please don't just tear it down okay. Okay. like they did, no. <laughs> like they did in the police station. This is the real <laughs> deal. Okay, that is Bigfoot right there. That's that's true oh. that as well. There he is. It's hard to is say it, yeah. it could be anyone else. To be that fair. is. Look at the size of those you, feet. You cannot argue with this. <laughs> Solid okay. evidence, that. That is Bigfoot. Three oh. cheers for Bigfoot. Well, well, hey, well Interesting done. that he was posing for the picture as well. Because <laughs> <that's, laughs> normally the evidence is kind of, the, you know. He's someone... not looking at the camera. No. <laughs> he's been caught off guard there by my quick picture. We actually <laughs> set baits up for this. I remember this because we yeah. set up a big bit of bait, didn't we? You got me dressed Of course in... you remember it now. This is the biggest moment of my life. <laughs> and this was in Scotland too? No, this was, this was in Nottingham. Right, okay. <laughs> it's a Nottingham Forest. <laughs> the, the first sighting outside of kind of 
uh, Northwest America. <laughs> it's, it's mad how many immigrants we get. <laughs> they just sneak in any which way. Uh, what, what, what bite did you use? You said you used a bite. What was this? I was covered in bacon, mate. <laughs> From head to toe. <laughs> I've had a cough, so my voice has changed a little bit. <laughs> Probably that bloody Rona. We haven't got pictures of Rona, though, do we? Yeah? That's you, so you, believe, you don't believe in Bigfoot, but sure. you believe in the Rona. Uh, ah, you can't take a picture of that on your camera, can you? The millennials. <laughs> See me, Gen Z. Please. So you, what's the reaction been so far to this uh, irrefutable image? You're the first people we've shown. Oh, really? This is really? an exclusive. We got this and we headed down to the biggest station right. we could find. So you didn't go to the police? We, we went to the biggest no. station. The biggest is this train not the station. police? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. So, so what next for you, James? <laughs> what, what other monster is on your list? Probably this monster going down to police cell <laughs> <laughs> for the murder of my wife. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Dad. Let's go. <laughs> let's go confess. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Thanks, lad. Do you want to keep that? I'll keep that, mate. Thank you very much. Well, nice, nice to meet one. you both. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> and, that, oh. and that wasn't by any stretch the most mental guest or guest <laughs> we've, we've had on the podcast. That was pretty tepid. That was tight. Uh, for the Stephen Trance <laughs> podcast. They were polite. They were. Uh, they knew what they were here for. Not irrational in <laughs> and, the sight. And they left off their own accord. <laughs> <laughs> no rudeness had to be involved. It was great. Oh, I, hope, I hope nothing bad happens to them. Uh. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh you didn't yeah. see, you just see any... Anyone outside? No, I'm just of getting a bollocking. Uh, apparently disrupting Tom Looney. Yeah, yeah right. Being out of order. One of my editors said anything to disrupt IMAX. <laughs> you kidding? It can disrupt itself. You send me messages and emails. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's this? Oh, we had a guest on, and apparently they found Loch Ness Monster and the Bigfoot. Sounds shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, they so, weren't. Uh, they weren't well. <laughs> Do we have a Dave Raves? Yes, we do. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Dave Raves. Second best. Dave Raves. Raves. Gotta get those Dave Raves. Right, okay. I'm oh. craving a raven. Hey. <laughs> Not <Huh>. the bird. <laughs> so, my, my first <laughs> thought of the week was, who is St. Helen? Because oh. I figured out that there's a mountain called St. Helens. Uh, there's a place called St. Yeah. Helens. Uh, there's a person called St. Helen. But who is he? Or she. Or she. <laughs> Oh, Helen's a woman's name, of course it is. I actually know two guys that found St. Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, you seem shocked. Yeah. 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 Go on. I don't know. Oh, neither do I. Do you I reckon actually... if St. Helen came back, yeah. she would be able to reclaim those areas that are named yeah. after? Probably. Well, technically, they are named St. Helen's her. Mountain. Yeah, if we could combine Dave Raves with Tom Looney's level of research, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps we could answer some of these questions. I just come in with faults. Yeah. I come in with research. Who are any of the saints, though? Like St. Anne? Got, yeah. uh, She's got a cathedral. St. Matthew, St. Stephen. St. Miguel. Well, saints can be anyone, can't they? You just have to... <laughs> Saint Miguel, Miguel. Uh, Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was there for a second. Saint Miguel. <laughs> it's knowledge of these Spanish. <laughs> Saint, Miguel. Uh, Saint Nicholas, who is Father Christmas. That's enough. true enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's all I, I know. Actually, know two saints. guys that found this. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah. um, I also realised uh, last week that I've been pronouncing words wrong, as well. Oh, uh, words. oh don't read for, the comments, Dave. For, <laughs> <laughs> for example, grenade. Uh, normal people. Would say grenade. <laughs> but, grenade. Like, what grenade. did you say? Grenade. Grenade. Like, grenade, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Your, uh, another one I've been saying wrong is chimney. So people, normal people, would say chimney. You know, like. Ah. The, but Surely I a always thought, would know what a chimney. Was. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. I used to sing this song. You know, chim chimney. Chim I used oh, to yeah. say. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim. Well, it sounds like you're saying yeah. chimney. Exactly, that's, so what that's I mean. why you've kind of got away with it, haven't you? Uh. And uh, I've been saying firemen wrong. I used to call them fire ambulance. <laughs> Fucking wankers. <laughs> fire balance, I used to call them. Fire, <laughs> fire balance. <laughs> call them fire balance. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your parents didn't say anything. <laughs> no, no. Well, when I went to school with the pigs, they never corrected me. So. Uh, and my last fault was I noticed that biscuits are hard. But when they go stale, they turn soft. Yeah. But when cakes are like soft, but when they go stale, they turn hard. Yeah. Why is that? And that is, of course, the way you prove a Jaffa cake yeah. is a... 
cake. Because it, it goes it, yeah, because it goes solid when it's stale. Yeah. Exactly. Drop the mic right there, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you think that is? Or is it is it uh, oh, yeast or something? Yeast know. infection. Some yeast you put in the bakery. There's, there's more moisture in the cake anyway, oh. and there's air because of the egg yeah. and that and expands like. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see why it would go dry, whereas biscuits are intended to be. Exactly. Uh, it's just been playing on me. I mean, Martin, like, I can't let it sleep. Out, Dave. Like, do you know what I mean? So Bless you. Glad I got out that other way. So That was Dave's race. Well done to Dave's yeah, race. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, just from hearing Tom give us a little bit of an education there. Mm. I think it's time for Tom Looney. He's wacky. So, uh, his work. <laughs> so this week's Tom Looney, uh, I've been delving into the world of coincidences. And your mum's knicker drawer. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to push me out. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what Looney thinks you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, imagine, yeah, just going through my mum's underwear drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sniffing out clues, mum. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> do not return as a character. <laughs> Carry on, Tom, without the distractions. Yeah, okay, so, uh, so, so, so some of these are a little bit coincidental, uh, but to the extent you just think, you know, is fate at play? Right. So, okay. I'll get straight, and I have researched some of them, uh, a lot of them. <laughs> in Detroit in 1930, a young mother must have been eternally grateful to a man named Joseph Figlock. So he was a street uh, street cleaner, and he was walking down the street when the the, mum, uh, the mother's baby fell from a high window. Ugh. He caught this baby, and the pair of them uh, survived. Nice. year later, same guy, same street, same building... Another baby falls from a window, and Jesus. once again, he catches this baby. Uh, well, he breaks the fall, and again, both of them survive. No wow. way. It's crazy. Parents of Detroit. And that Please. definitely happened because it was reported in the Detroit Times. Look that one up. That's crazy. The DT yeah. for you. Yeah. What a man. Crazy, isn't it? So here's another one. Uh, Harry Z. Harry? Henry? <laughs> Henry Zeegland. Uh, so he uh, was seeing a girl. Uh, he broke up with her. She was so distraught, she committed suicide. Her brother was so furious, he tracked. Well, went round to Henry's house and, and shot him. Thought he'd killed him and then killed himself. But the bullet grazed Henry and got lodged in a tree. And Henry thought he'd dodged uh, this, you know, attempted gunning down. Years later, Henry goes to, uh, wanted to take the tree down, but it's a really big fucking tree. So he used some sticks of dynamite. The dynamite, when exploded, dislodged the bullet and shot him in the head. I've heard that one. I've heard when your that name's one. on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> on it, true. yeah, what else have we got? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, this one's fantastic. 1858, Robert Fallon was playing poker when he was shot dead. But as an act of vengeance from those he was playing with, he'd won a $600 pot, they believe, through cheating. So they killed him. What did he say? With his seat empty, <laughs> none of the other players willing to take the now unlucky $600. They grabbed the first passerby to come and take the seat and continue the game. By the time the police arrived to investigate the killing, the uh, the person who'd sat down had turned that six hundred into two thousand two hundred dollars. But the police demanded that the original six hundred would pass to Fallon's next of kin. As it transpired, the bloke in the table was his estranged son that he'd not seen for seven no years. No way! God, mind blown. That is that is mad. Yeah, mm. lucky that. Well, well, I'm, depends who you are. <laughs> <laughs> now this uh, this is probably the the most crazy one. Um, so this is a uh, King Umberto the first. Oh, so okay. in Monza That's in Italy, uh, he he goes to a small restaurant for dinner with his aide. Then when they're ordering, they notice that the restaurant owner is a doppelganger for the king. So the two of them start chatting in, in face and in build, and they're chatting about the similarities, and they learn that they're actually similar in quite a few ways. Both men were born on the same day, same year, March 14th, 1844. Both men were born in the same town. Both men married a woman with the name Margarita. Both had a son called Vittorio. They both served in the military and were promoted to different ranks on the same day. The, rest the restaurateur tour opened his restaurant on the same day that King Umberto was crowned king. Wow. Years later, in, on the 29th of July, 1900, Umberto was informed that the restaurateur had died that morning. He'd been gunned down in a mysterious act uh, shooting. Later that day, King Umberto was assassinated. It's strange. Yep. Strange. Very strange. That's, that's fucking crazy. 
Is it's this just not the best Tom Lincoln this we've is, ever had? This is crazy. Yeah. Uh, Do you know about the one about Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Go on. Uh, Abraham's Lincoln brother saved uh, the guy that assassinated Abraham's Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> some more words for you to write down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Abraham's Lincoln's brother saved... John Wilkes Booth. Yeah. yeah his brother from falling in front of a train. Yeah. And then turns out that that guy's brother was the one that assassinated his brother. Bloody hell. How weird is that? But it was, uh, there was, uh, I think it happened again. Oh, did it? Uh, apparently so, yeah. Apparently is, they just kept saving each other, I think. And wasn't J- John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln Deadly. both assassinated on the same day? Or same both like from the back of the head uh, at public, on the way to public, I don't know what, public then, events. Yeah. yeah. God. Mm. Insane. So there's one here, another one to make you a, uh, I think if this happened to you, you'd probably be forgiven for being a bit superstitious and believing in fate. So this is recently, this is Martin De Jong. So he tra- he's a cyclist and he travels around the world to compete for uh, a Malaysian cycling team. And he had two really, really near misses <laughs> in the space of a few months. Don't know why I'm laughing, this is awful. <laughs> Um, so, he was, <laughs> so he was. So in this in this interview in Holland, uh, he's was saying he was due to travel on flight MH17, the Boeing 777 that was shot down over Ukraine. Everyone on board was killed, and he only decided to swap flights at the last minute after just uh, discovering that he could travel via Frankfurt a day later for for less. So he changed his flight. Um, during the interview, it later also transpired that. Uh, even more remarkable, he'd been planning to travel on flight MH370, the one that vanished over the Indian Ocean. Uh, <clears throat> so he was he was due to complete compete in a race in Taiwan, but he decided to take a different flight an hour earlier so that it didn't include a stopover in Beijing. And that one was so last minute that he was actually uh, he was with the passengers that boarded and spoke to a lot of them before they God. boarded the flight, and obviously they've never been seen That's again. That's horrific. That's horrific. Yeah. That'd be horrifying. Insane. Lucky. Never again. seen. Oh, man. I know, that's mad. It's so, uh, like, you know, bloke who wrote Seth MacFarlane, he was meant to be on the airplane. Who wrote yeah. Seth MacFarlane? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was at one, of, one of the 9-11 yeah, yeah, planes, wasn't he? Guy. He was meant to be one of the 9-11 planes, but Just it was too long over. Today. Yeah. Too long over to get on and <laughs> survived. So World War One famously begins after Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated in Sarajevo. What? So, <laughs> obviously, you know, those of you... Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, so World War One. Uh, officially, so it went on for however long, uh, four four years or something. Uh, no, longer than that, wasn't it? Anyway, it ended on Armistice, Armistice Day, 11th of November, 1918. 11, 11, 18. The reg on his car in Sarajevo was a 11, 11, 18. Wow. Yeah. No way. There you go. Sweet whip. Well done, that was a Thank you. Best one so far. What do you think, Max? Yeah. Yeah. So it, does, <laughs> it starts off with a bit of Googling. You know, you do have to kind of you have a few ideas about the kind of things you're going to look into, but then mm. obviously you have to kind of research. It just sounds like a top ten wackiest things. Yeah, don't get me wrong, you know, come across they get some a lot of these websites on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but then you know you research them, you find that they're not true. But I'm out here reviewing yeah. hot movies. You've not breath. reviewed a fresh new movie <laughs> since I've known you, Max. You just played the pilot to yeah, yeah. a show with Brad Pitt that never got yeah. made. You're talking about movies. In, oh, the, man, in, in that you're saying that you talk about movies, but you never talk about movies. <laughs> Do we have put it to the max? Yeah, we got put it to the max. Wowie. I'm the wrong thing. Okay, yeah. Oh. Uh, bit of a shit email, this one. Hi, Stephen, Max, Dave and Tom. Open brackets, correct order. Oh. What was the order? What was that? Yeah, Tom was last. Uh. I've always had issues in the girl <laughs> department. Good. Uh, except for this one girl who I took. Um, everything, was going, <laughs> everything was going well. So one time she asked if I had any special talents. Which uh, which I do. My special talent is that I can say every word to the MCR diss track video. She was surprisingly very unimpressed by this and very quickly blocked me. Shall I maybe calm it down with the amount I watch your guys' video, or shall I stick to who I am, a steetard? Um, steetard. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> tricky. We welcome all steetards <laughs> and all their different passions. Mm. Um, ultimately, Kieran. Uh, Kieran. Ultimately, mate, if you're gonna. You know, do a rendition of that song. Hmm. If they have heard it, it'll never, you know, live up to our level. If they haven't heard it, yeah, we say some grotesque things in it, <laughs> which would, yeah. yeah, it would scare off any female or male. Yeah, without context, you know, that's yeah, you know, that's not going to do you any favors. I'd say be yourself. You know, you don't want to change who you are to to satisfy other people, hmm. um, nope. unless it's a court of law. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
But you know, if she's not, if she doesn't like that aspect of you, then I'd say find someone that likes, you know, yeah, shares interests and whatnot. Been her off. Plenty more fish in the sea. But it's, yeah. uh, it's great to hear that somebody yeah. knows all the words because Max yeah. fucking does. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. My head's full of movie re- uh, review. <laughs> <laughs> movie review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest, oh. stalest movie review. <laughs> It's this uh, room and it's getting you with the words. I'm the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got me a few <laughs> times, yeah. Just Especially in the first half of this podcast today, I was just staring at it. I was just out of it for quite yeah, a while. Yeah. I started a few questions I didn't know about. I was going, <laughs> <laughs> going down your chin. Uh, uh, do we want another one? Yeah. Oh, uh, hello, right. Stephen, Dave, Max, and wacky Tom Looney. <laughs> yeah. Bonkers. Oh, bonkers. <laughs> too crazy. Just call me Joe. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> think Tom Lady will just settle for that. Uh, I, I've sort of got a two-part question. <laughs> is this MC Grass? <laughs> Firstly, I can't tell when, whether when you mentioned Max's girlfriend if you guys are being ironic or not. <laughs> does Max, about does, that. No, this is genuine, just genuine concern. Does, does Max actually have a girlfriend? I don't mean to dig at Max, but I can't help thinking about his girlfriend. It's just another crazy comedy character. <laughs> Made up in the dense imagination of the big man. But to be fair, uh, any help clearing that up would be excellent. I, I wouldn't know if she was or not, yeah. um, because it would be my crazy mind. But no, yeah. we went out. And bought, <laughs> can you? Do you have some proof, maybe? We went out and bought a bin the other day. I can. Can you maybe put, well, put a just, picture of the bin up right now? <laughs> um, uh, okay. Secondly, lads, I've just finished my first year at uni, which I enjoyed a lot. Obviously, you boys know what happens in first year. It seems all my mates in accommodation <laughs> and old school mates at home. I've shagged. The problem is, I haven't. <laughs> what? I always, Are you sure this isn't you, Joe? <laughs> I always tell myself to wait for a relationship so I can, I can do it feeling comfortable. Being the top shaggers that you guys are, yeah, yeah, yeah. should I keep holding out, although he's a bit suspicious of you, should I keep holding out for the perfect time or give in to my mate's pressure? Oh, just getting God. out there and get... Yeah, yeah, no, no. Right. Just getting the job done. Stay safe, fellas. P.S. Free my man, Joe McGrath. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's a great email all around. Was, <laughs> so we, you can do what Max did and just make someone up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that going for you? <laughs> sure, it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so he's in first year uni. What nineteen? Uh, so I think yeah, it's come, it's come to the end of it, isn't it? And so, you know. So we nineteen mates have most. apparently been shagging. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What, it doesn't say whether that's with each that's other. That's what confused or... me because yeah. I, I thought it meant his old mm. fl- old school mates and his new flatmates <laughs> have all met and just shagged Shag. each other. Yeah. Uh, and he's been left out. Yeah. Look, Joe, it's up to you. You could just do it on a whim, but mm. you might not feel as good yeah. afterwards. Or you could find someone that you have a genuine connection with. It might take a little bit longer. Put yourself yeah. out there a yeah. bit more. Uh, and, you know, you'll probably feel better about it. Okay, so, uh, you know, obviously, maybe didn't happen for everyone here. So young, you have to wait a few years. Yeah. Is it, do you feel like, um, does anyone feel like it was made more difficult? Or you built it up? Uh, I've definitely built it up. Yeah. I could have lost my virginity sooner, but I probably yeah. wouldn't have liked doing it as much. Yeah. So the kind of, you know, the, the, the anticipation yeah. is what is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the game out wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said on the night. Yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, God. We'll cut this one. That <laughs> <laughs> didn't take me undies off. <laughs> Can we have one more, please, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, here's one we've not had. Um, hey, guys. I'm a twenty. I'm a twenty-one-year-old wheelchair user who can stand and walk places with some support. At the moment, I have a girlfriend who isn't disabled. She has no issues. She has a friend who is a bad influence and that says negative things about me and my ability, assuming I'm worse off than I am. I remember so when one time me and my girlfriend were talking, and she said that her friend had said, "I don't want to see you become a free carer and see him manipulating you into being with him through pity." And she makes out that my, you know, my disability is way worse and it's going to kill me, kind of thing. But it's, it's not that bad. But it has scarred me mentally. I do doubt myself uh, for not having the same ability as others, uh, even though I don't identify as disabled. Uh, I worry that my girlfriend will carry her friend's thoughts, uh, will, will listen to her friend, and you know, this will you know, come back on me, and she'll think differently about me. I'm sorry if this is a difficult subject for you, but I felt, I felt like getting it off my mind. Love the podcast. All the best, Cameron. Sorry. It sounds like you, your friend has yeah, bad friends who's just... Saying the necessary things that won't be helping your situation. Um, completely lacking empathy or sympathy because uh, you, you've you probably gone through enough or you know your day-to-day, day-to-day life's difficult anyway and she's just piling on top of it with 
uh, can't think of a better phrase, a cutty comment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's just that's just awful. I'm sure the connection you have with your girlfriend will be able to validate your relationship if you mm. if you get on great. You know, if if you've been together for a while. Things he's not going to pay attention to They're not sly else. comments. It's, it's not like, you know, oh, oh, oh I, I, I don't think he's right for you. That's yeah. literally, then they're nasty. Yeah. And yeah, if your I'm girlfriend, uh, yeah, if your girlfriend, you know, is susceptible to that, then she's not a very good person. But if she is, then you'd like to think she'll recognise them comments yeah. for what they are. And it, sh- it shouldn't it shouldn't impact your relationship. And hopefully, yeah. uh, over time, she'll realise that this girl, if she carries on like that, she really isn't a friend. And uh, she'll be the one that... Uh, yeah, mm. or her friend needs to just wise up, really. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Get in the real world. Yeah, it's, uh, not, you... it's not big and it's not clever. Have you seen that thing? I think it's on Twitter uh, with some guy mocking the Special Olympics and Arnold Schwarz- uh, Schwarzenegger comes in with just like a really good... Uh, Punch. Edit that bit out. You know, fair enough. I, I, I a really good hot dog. <laughs> aware about this. <laughs> He uh, comes in with a massive fucking bowl of ice cream. <laughs> 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 He's just watching it all happen. He's just doing his own little mukbang in the corner. <laughs> Some of you may know what I'm referring to. You, know. you got a wee big to good book. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> Edit, that's so sound just like him. <laughs> well, thank you for putting it to the max there, Tom. Well yeah. well and guys, if you want to write in, it is put it to the max at hotmail.com. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that one from Dave the other week, who saw Max out and about. Uh, if any else, anyone else has spotted Max, oh or, yeah, keep uh, us updated. Can, can, can let us know what he's been up to. When, yeah, when he checks out from here, we don't know what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just I'm just at off. home watching the hottest, newest movies. Dave begs to differ. Now we need to know if that's not the case, <laughs> because I have my suspicions. We, uh, we're but he actually, does none of that. You were harassing young teens with alcohol. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for a sponsor here at IMAX so if anyone wants to throw some cash this way yeah. so I can book a suite at the newest hottest movie cinemas <laughs> that'd be much appreciated thank you lovely uh, that charisma could sell anything <laughs> you never get your eyes open be <laughs> welcome to IMAX uh, <laughs> stay in your lane <laughs> Sure. Hottest and freshest movies. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys, for listening to another podcast. Um, by. I, had, I had great fun. Yeah, what especially was, the what second is, half. You know, I love the segments. What's everyone's belief then? Like, like you say, weird belief. Oh, uh, what do I believe in? I maybe believe in. Yeah, you can visualize something that happens. I like that. I like that. But do I don't know what. I, uh, I, I believe in. Um, well, you know, more in all this world order shit than perhaps most people do, you know. Not like... I'm, the conspiracy. Not to a yeah. crazy obsessed point, you know, you try and be critical about things, but so much we don't know and so many things that you take as a given that might not even be true, you know, years after it turns out just that never happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. We that. just know nothing, do we? Smith? John Snow? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we're all heading one way, so we may as well enjoy it whilst we're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. So so stay true. well clear of IMAX. Agreed. Um, <laughs> nah, I'm not having this. I've treated, I've treated your segment yeah, yeah. with nothing but respect. Yeah, yeah. Guys, guys, let's not. You are looking for the freshest, freshest news, juiciest no. movies. Come on, guys. Stay clear. Uh, let's come on. <laughs> Won't find that here. No, no. There's going to be an expose on you one day, my friend. Yeah, I look forward to it. Shortly, shit. Uh, I've I've been joined by Dave. Oi, oi, thank you. Well done, Dave. Thank, yeah. you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Always bringing it, always bringing it. Our thank producer, you. Joe McGrath. Well done, Joe. Enjoy your freedom. Deserve it's, it. It's nearly seven, so he has to get going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've got Tom Cooney. Well done, Tom. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. And, of work, course, work. Max Smith. Well done, Max. Lovely. Uh, thank you for listening. Stay safe. And ciao. Bye. Shalom. Oh, I should have said shalom. Religious. <laughs>